how you can. Go to freezedryguy.com, click on products, and look for the Freeze Dry Guy clubs to pay as you go. Now you can build food storage without going into debt. Choose from a payment range of $95 to $450 per month. Our clubs work with everyone's budget. Plus, when you join Freeze Dry Guy clubs, you'll get additional rewards. For example, this month, get 10% back in survival bucks on all purchases in the Freeze Dry Guy product line, plus free shipping within the lower 48 states on any order amount. Hurry, go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663. That's freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663. The Freeze Dry Guy, the best you can buy. Gaddafi has taken several towns and cities back and uh, is basically marching on Benghazi and areas in the east. Uh, there's no doubt now he's turned the tide against the globalist-backed rebels. So he's a smaller local demon fighting against Satan. Uh, and it's all part of the largest, larger globalist plan. Saudi Arabia is into several weeks of rioting, talk of collapsing, tanks on the streets. Uh, other countries are rioting. Uh, oil prices have been shooting up, gold shooting up now, correcting a bit. Uh, all of this happening. And then we had the big bond house. I covered it yesterday. Bloomberg uh, broke it. Uh, the, first they said the biggest and some said one of the biggest uh, brokerage houses, investment funds in the world. And Bob Chapman can talk about this first. Has said no more dollars, no more T-bills. We're done. And then you had Wall Street Journal on Monday saying the end of the dollar is nigh. And that it was a good thing. It was going to be good for us, Bob. Like jumping into a meat grinder or jumping off a cliff or playing in traffic or eating cyanide or slitting our wrist. It's wonderful. Uh, what's your take on all the crazy things that are going on? Well, Bill Gross is uh, essentially a, a professional gambler. Uh, he is the head of PIMCO. Uh, and they are the largest bond house in the world. Uh, they're owned by Alliance out of Germany. And uh, Bill knows how to figure the odds. He's a great trader, uh, enormously successful, worked very closely in, in helping the government uh, when they went through their trying times uh, oh, oh, two to three years ago and bought lots and lots of uh, bonds for them uh, to help them along. And so for him to exit his treasuries, and I'm sure he's out of his uh, agency bonds as well. Those are the bonds from Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Ginny Mae, and FHA. Uh, it's an extremely significant event. What he's saying is, I see down the road here that we're going to have lots of inflation. The United States government has piles of debt, and most of it is being purchased by the Federal Reserve, who makes money up out of thin air. And that's not very good. So he doesn't want to have any part of that, and that's super intelligent. And uh, But I wouldn't expect anything less from him. Uh, he's among the best. At the same time, Carl Icahn, who is a money manager and a professional uh, in the business of buying out companies, and all sorts of corporate finance. Uh, he's in his 80s, and he's had a magnificent career. He shut down his hedge fund at about the same time. That's right. Uh, four days ago, uh, we have the Wall Street Journal, Time Magazine, a whole bunch of others come out and say the dollar will be dead. The Chinese announced they're no longer going to accept dollars to buy their finished uh, retail goods. We now have ex-Goldman Sachs analysts saying major war coming at end of 2012. That's a PrisonPlanet.com article with the video. Uh, we have the Chinese president saying the end of the dollar is nigh. Uh, we've got one of the other biggest bond traders and investors, as you said, telling his investors, I don't want to be in the stock market right now. I mean, and this isn't Henry Paulson out there trying to create a correction or a crisis to panic folks, to give him trillions. They're just quietly exiting the room 
And it's kind of like when a party starts to end, one person leaves and suddenly a few others do, and then suddenly everybody's leaving. Are we reaching that point where everybody's starting to get up to leave the party? Uh, no, but some are. And the, the very introspective, outside-the-box thinkers, and you've got two of them there. And what Carl, Carl actually said was, I don't want to be responsible for these people's future and their losses if that were to occur. Yeah, that was the quote. So in, he, you know, so what he's in essence saying, look, let's get out of the way. There's some bad stuff coming. Very simple. And so you put it together with the other things that you've mentioned and the things that I, talk, I write about every week and talk about every week on programs. And uh, we've got dire problems. The whole world has, but ours and England's and Europe's are the worst. And I think we're going to find that China and Japan are going to be coming close behind us with many other nations. Now, Bob, and there will be nations that won't get, won't get hit too bad. Go ahead. No, no, we'll come back after the break. But I, I saw that article earlier in the week. I barely mentioned it. Give us the name of the trader again, because he's a top guy, and, and those were exact quotes you were giving. I want to pull the article up during the break. Who was the other guy? Uh, Carl Icahn, and uh, the other is Bill Gross. No, I, yeah, I know that Bill one. is with PIMCO. I know the PIMCO. Yeah, but the Carl Icahn, the headline was, no longer, no longer managing investors' stocks. So I think you get that, folks, please. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones asking you for a minute of your time to tell you about soap. Not detergents, but good old-fashioned pure soap made by the Cal Ben Soap Company, a family-owned and operated American company. My family, staff, friends, and radio listeners are constantly telling me how much they love these products for bath, hair, laundry, and dishes. There is nothing like these factory-direct, big-money-saving, triple-concentrated soaps anywhere. Get a free detailed catalog by calling 800-340-7091 or see them online at 5starsoap.com or infowars.com. Let's talk to the owner of 5 Star Soap, Marty Schachter, and see what he has to say. As founder and owner for over 63 years, people keep asking me, how's business? I'm happy to say our business is going down the drain. Call us at one 800 Three four zero seven zero nine one. For visit our website five dot com for buying a one to two month soap sampler. Thank you. You've heard Alex explain how the Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced colloidal silver solutions. Yet many are unaware of the entire function of the Silver Lung System and how it has been designed to deliver your silver solutions anywhere in or on the body. My name is Mario Cifaldi, and I'm the developer of the Silver Lungs Generator. Not only does the Silver Lung System produce endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions, it also comes equipped with the proper applicators and devices needed to deliver your silver solutions directly to key target areas. This includes the eyes, ears, nose, lungs, topically to the skin, and orally for the digestive system. Be sure to watch our new 7-minute video tour of the Silver Lung System at www.silverlungs.com to learn more about how the Silver Lung System works. As well, we are always ready to answer any questions you may have. That's www.silverlungs.com. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365.
There's the headline out of uh, Reuters. Carl Icahn to return his client's money. Billionaire hedge fund manager Carl Icahn is returning capital to outside investors, marking the end of an era as he joins other prominent stock pickers who no longer want the headaches of handling other people's money. But when you actually read then his quotes, that's Reuters spin. It's not, oh, the headaches of billions he makes. No, he says it's too dangerous. In fact, I'll go to the quotes after Bob continues. Uh, and, uh, you know, he just says he doesn't want to hurt people. He's saying get out. And then I've seen the numbers, Bob. Can you quantify these? But I've seen even uh, mainstream articles about it that insiders are getting out of the market at five times the numbers that newbies and the general public and government investments are getting in with people's pension funds. So the big money is creeping away to the exits, correct? That is absolutely correct. And it's been going on for about a year. And uh, sometimes the numbers are like 342 to 1. Oh. I mean, uh, there might be $50,000 worth of options exercised and how long against the sale of four billion eight hundred million or something. I mean, the figures are staggering of people who run companies getting out of the market. So they're just propping things up long enough by printing trillions of dollars in other currencies worldwide to get themselves in their armored redoubts, to get their bodyguards, to get ready to kind of turn their SWAT teams loose on us. They create the crisis, society implodes, they sit back, turn the SWAT teams and troops loose on us, uh, and, and then they emerge prancing around as the saviors later, and, and, and they're really gearing up for it. I think you're right, and uh, what you've just said is correct, uh, although if they're going to use uh, people, uh, they're going to have to use mer mercenaries. And I've talked to too many people in the military. They won't take an illegal order, and they're not going to shoot American citizens. And maybe mercenaries would, but, you know, we don't have to go over the figures again. But America's armed to the teeth. And there's, you could bring in 10 million troops, and they'd still lose. Well, yeah, suddenly mainstream news is reporting like they're talking about you know, the weather or the price of gasoline in, you know, at the corner market or when they're going to have a Christmas tree lighting. Oh, we've signed the North American SPP security perimeter to use Mexican and Canadian troops to deal with terrorists and troublemakers and the American people. And, uh, I, I sent the guys to Chicago where they witnessed foreign European troops training to take Americans' guns. It's on video. And, and, and still, Americans are in denial, even when I show them AP or Ottawa Citizen or own footage. They go, oh, that's not true. Your video doesn't show that. When our guys were there, they were practicing putting them in the football stadium. Dutch and Czech Republic and Polish troops with the Chicago police and the National Guard. They are, and they admit they're training for us, but the public says we're liars, Bob Chapman. That's right, and uh, they're going to be coming, running in our direction when it happens. Is what do we do? What do we do? And uh, we'll tell them, lock and load. That's the best thing you can do. And by lock You're and load, you mean... You wouldn't listen. By lock, you mean put yourself in handcuffs and chain those to your ankles and then get in the position? Well, actually, it's uh, the use of the N1 Grand, and uh, it was a top-feeding magazine-fed uh, uh, weapon uh, that I used. And um, what you do is you lock, and then you pull the uh, slide back, and then you drop your magazine in, hoping you don't catch your thumb in there. <laughs> so that's called locking <laughs> Al-Qaeda. I mean, are you, are you a supporter of the terrorists, George Washington, sir? Well, of course. You mean you're the type that wouldn't turn your guns in and offer your wife up uh, for the... Uh